the last of the German troops were being driven out of Belgium and the Allies were preparing for the final phase of the war, the crossing of the Rhine River and the drive into the German heartland. The Allies had every reason to be confident of success. By February 1945, seven Allied armies stood along 400 miles of German border, ready for the final assault. Bitter fighting followed as the Allies met with unruly weather and resolute German defenders in the Reichswald Forest, now transformed by an early thaw into a murky swamp. February 23rd, the Allies were finally able to crack the Siegfried Line. 8,000 Germans had been killed and 12,000 taken prisoner in the battle. The Allies had suffered 6,000 casualties. On March 15th, General Patton launched his attack. His armor churned relentlessly through the countryside, capturing 950 square miles of territory on March 19th alone. The Germans in Patton's sector were in full retreat. By the end of the first day of combat, the Allies had broken through the German lines. On the same day, General Patton drove into Germany. Longtime Phoenix resident, Silvestre S. Herrera, was fighting near Mertzviller, France. Under heavy machine gun fire, Private Herrera single-handedly attacked and destroyed the German-held position, capturing eight prisoners. While continuing his attack, Private Herrera triggered a German landmine, losing both feet to the blast. Down, but not out, Private Herrera continued firing, thus allowing his comrades to flank and capture the German position. For his heroic and courageous acts that day, Private Silvestre S. Herrera was, was awarded the Medal of Honor, the Purple Heart, and Mexico's Order of Military Merit. Sick and wounded members of the U.S. Armed Forces across America and around the world need to know there's more to recovery than hospitals, transition units, doctors, nurses, and medicine. That's where the American Legion's Operation Comfort Warriors program comes in. The American Legion raises funds to purchase adaptive sports equipment, video games, event tickets, and more for those recovering in military hospitals and transition programs. Learn more at legion.org programs.